Anthony, this is my fourth uh, FQXI conference. I love it. I missed one. You've been at five. And the mm -hmm. theme of the multiverse, which you work on professionally, has been either a prime theme of a conference or always a sub-theme. Uh -huh. So since we talked last on this subject several years ago, uh, what's been happening? What's your thinking? What's been the thoughts in the field? Mm -hmm. Well, I've been working a lot on the question of, you know, are there things that we could actually go out and measure that could tell us that there is a multiverse? And and the good news has been that there are. You know, I and collaborators have found, you know, specific things that in some specific models you could look for. Bad news is that they, those things haven't shown up, <laughs> so, which doesn't mean the multiverse is, is not true, but it it just is hard. You have what to be are lucky. some of those? I'd really be interested. So, so the one that we've spent the most time on is the idea that bubbles, you know, bubble universes can collide. And in, and that in our universe, if everything went right, would literally look like a kind of sphere that a bruise on the microwave background radiation that we can look for. Now, the, um, the, uh, the, the microwave background radiation was a, a picture of what happened at a, at a certain moment, obviously. Right. So, so it tells us kind of what <clears throat> the density and temperature of the universe looked like at one very early time right. so we had this snapshot right. but if this other bubble ran into ours it would perturb that in some region and that region would look like a kind of disk on the sky when they look out they'd see well over there it's a little bit warmer than it ought to be okay so um uh, that would that uh, perturbation ha have to have occurred any time before that snapshot or did it have to be at the moment of that snapshot no, it would have happened early, so so it's, it's so it'd sort of be a permanent bruise on the body. Yeah, it's sort of a bruise on the initial conditions okay. of our bubble universe. Okay. Um, so that we haven't seen. We've been looking. In now the, that in would the assume data. that these uh, bubble universes are existing in the same sort of space-time continuum, right? Which they do. So so the process of creating these bubbles has a a background, and these bubbles kind of spawn out of that background, okay. um, much like bubbles in a soda, say. Right. And then they can run into each other. Okay. So, so there is a common soda okay. Okay. in between. Okay, them. okay. So uh, you, you have that uh, that possibility, but you haven't seen it. It doesn't mean they haven't bumped into each other, because bubbles right. can exist and not bump into each other. Right. And But it's nice because it, it's proof of principle that this is not all sort of philosophical speculation right, there right. are in principle possible ways to, to see that it's is that there. generally accepted that uh, that type of uh, of imprint would be an indication of a, of a, of a separate universe I, I think among people who understand the arguments yeah, yeah I, I don't think there's among the good people yeah. <laughs> among the people who agree with us <laughs> there's consensus okay yeah. well, <laughs> that's good to know um, but the you know that that's not really the main reason that people think about the multiverse. They, they came upon it as the side effect of sure. inflation that right. we believe for other reasons. Um, and it, I think it's interesting to see that the, the reasons for believing inflation have held up quite well. You know, there's still more data coming in that, that supports inflation, still no alternatives really that, that anybody is that interested in, you know, to explain the same thing. So inflation is on pretty solid ground. Uh, I did a little poll at this, at this meeting and I asked how many, what fraction of people who are cosmologists, who had written a cosmology paper, thought that inflation happened at 75% likelihood or more. So confidence they weren't sure, level. but 75% confidence level. And it was about 80 or 90% of people. Wow. Said and that. what was your sample size? Uh, I think I had about 60 cosmologists. Oh, that's a significant And, and something number. like 50 of them. Uh, oh, that's a very significant number. Thought that inflation happened at a 75%, 75 percent right. confidence level. So pretty good, you know, if you multiply those two things together, you get kind of 60% percent Expected likelihood. value. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> that's terribly flawed statistical reasoning. Yeah, yeah, but but I, I, I like it. I actually but like that. I, I do that like again. That. And then I asked, and then I asked, um, of those people who have studied inflation, what fraction of those people think that with 75% confidence there was eternal inflation? Which would mean bubble universes. Which would mean bubble universes, the multiverse, the whole shindig. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that was about uh, a third, a third of the people who thought that inflation happened. So, so your second sample size took only the ones that thought inflation happened at the 75% level? Yes. Okay, so you, you, your sample size was now down. So, to... Yeah, so it was saying given inflation, 75% okay. for eternal okay. inflation. That, right. And that was about a third. So you, you combine all these numbers together, you get sort of 25% of 
likelihood right, so, yeah. of, of uh, eternal inflation. Yeah, at, at a 75% level in both cases. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, so that means there could be a lot more who could think it's uh, 55% or 35%. That's right. That's right. And um, so it's kind of that was kind of a minimum likelihood. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, so you have to do a lot more careful job. Right. But, no, I but think that's moreover, great. moreover, I would claim that if you actually laid out the different possibilities, like okay, if it wasn't eternal inflation, tell me what it was. You know, and tried to list all those possibilities. That none of those would have a higher probability than eternal oh, inflation. For sure, for sure. Right. And, so, so, and all of the rest might have very low. Doing the same statistics would be very, very low in right. comparison. So, in that sense, I think we can say that the multiverse is the mainstream theory yeah. of cosmology. Which doesn't make it right, of course. Doesn't make it right, but it is does mean we have to take it seriously, and it's it's pretty far away from the way most you know physicists even think about cosmology. Um, the message has not fully gotten through. Uh, that this is the ultimate nature of reality. Doing our best.